now on High Tide. Tina, you've changed. We all have to grow up, Joey. But you've done it better than most people. Easy, big fella. It's my goddaughter you're talking about. Joey! Tina is missing. She's got this weird gut feeling that this has something to do with her dad. The guy's been dead for years. What? We're here to help. I got Tina into this. It's my responsibility, and I'm gonna get her out. That's suicide. Oh, you forget, Meg. I'm already dead. Come on! Let her go, Sanchez! Don't make a move while she's dead. We'd meet her right after practice. You go ahead without me. Oh, come on, she's dying to see you. It's been almost four years. Yeah, well, I'm kind of busy. Yeah, I see. Put your shirt on. Let's go. Where are my shades? Why don't you want to see T? She adores you. That's the problem. She adores me a little too much. Know what I'm saying? Since when is that a problem? I mean, for you. Look, last time Tina and I were together, she drove me nuts, wanted to be with me all the time, followed me everywhere. Hi. How are you? <sighs> you amaze me. This is true. I am amazing. You're always complaining you can't find the right woman. Yeah, but she's not a woman, see? She's a girl. You haven't seen her in a while, have you? Look, I'm sure Tina's still cute, and I'm sure she's still sweet, but the truth is, she's just not my type. I thought every female was your type. Wow. Tina, Joey, don't you? Tina! You've, uh, changed. Yeah, well, we all have to grow up, Joey. Yes, but you've done it better than most people. Well, thanks. You know, I thought you might never forgive me for the way I acted last time we were together. Oh, you were fine. You were fine. I was a pest. But I plead insanity. I had this huge crush on you. Oh, I never noticed. 
Hey, so where's this surf shop I've heard so much about? Come on, I'll give you the two-minute tour. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'll take your bag. Oh, thanks. Ah. <laughs> Good. Yeah, but I love that. Remember what I said I was going to do the next time you touched me? What, are you, you going to quit? Sweetheart, please, you can't quit. I could never replace you. Jake, I haven't been paid in three weeks. Look, sweetheart, why don't you just be patient, okay? Look, our little cash flow problem is only temporary. I have you know Scorpion is back there right now. He's collecting on a very big job. You keep this, my friend. You and your family need it more. Senor, I don't know. If they come back, if they try to hurt your family, you call me. You understand? Gracias, senor. Gracias. And this is your receipt. And it's also my guarantee. Damn, don't any good-looking broads ever get into trouble anymore? Shut oh. up. You see the front page of the paper, huh? It's all about the drug bust. You did a great job, Jake. Yeah, but it didn't make us any money. Nothing ever makes us any money. Relax. See, we have the satisfaction of knowing we made a very large dent in the Sanchez drug cartel. About a $60 million debt. Yeah, but the DEA just got the drugs. I mean, I thought you wanted to nail Sanchez. Well, that's our next order of business. Come on, baby. You know you want it. Oh, I'd really <laughs> like to. But it's against my moral principles to kiss an obnoxious jerk. Oh, playing hard to get? I like that. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hey, go easy, okay? The tables aren't paid for. Why don't you just save yourself a lot of trouble and just let go of me? <laughs> Excuse me. None of your business, man. Yes, well, my friend. I'm making my business. Now what's gonna get you hurt? <laughs> you know, in life a man's gotta learn two things. First, he's gotta learn to treat women with respect. They left. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And the other is, you gotta know when to duck. You know, I hate seeing a man with an empty glass. But I want you to behave yourself. Oh. Hey, so where's that hot tub you were telling me about? It's ready and waiting. Yeah. You take your bag. I have something for you. From an old friend. Senor Sanchez. Get out. I was afraid you were going to say that.
you have got to stop turning away with these beautiful women. What's that? It's from Sanchez. It's Tina. Two years late. Graduation gift. Oh. <laughs> oh, Nick. Oh. This is beautiful. Oh, you really didn't have to get me anything. I was just glad that you came to my graduation. You know, besides Grandma, you're really the only family I have. Are you okay? My dad's been gone all these years, and I just still miss him a lot. Yeah, me too. Excuse me, I'll be right back. You didn't get me anything for my graduation. Hey, I paid for your graduation. My dad was a pretty awesome guy, wasn't he? I remember meeting him a couple times. Yeah, John Chapman saved my life. We went through the academy together. I was best man at his wedding. I was there when Tina was born. And I cried with him when his wife died. He was a CIA man, right? Well, his daughter's turning into quite a woman. Really? This morning, she was a pesky kid with a crush. I guess he's got the crush now, baby. Hey, easy, big fella. It's my goddaughter you're talking about. <laughs> I really love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, I'm really hungry. Where do you guys want to eat? Mexican. <laughs> I don't remember ever having such a good time. <laughs> Doesn't have to end. I mean, we could go dancing. I got my dancing shoes on. Oh, sorry, I can't. I've got to wake up early tomorrow. Oh. Big day. Well, then maybe I can walk you back to your hotel. That'd be nice. Well, I, uh, I'll get back to the shop. I got to count the money, rewrite my sock drawer, that kind of stuff. You know? <laughs> okay. Have fun. Good night. Got all the license numbers. Uh, it looked like a diplomatic plate, but I didn't know the confusion. I couldn't be sure. Yeah, well, I'll run it, you know, but this doesn't make any sense. Why would a diplomat want to kidnap a volleyball player? Uh, I don't think it has a lot to do with volleyball. Could have been mistaken identity. Uh, yeah, well, whatever it is, the two of you are going to let the police handle everything, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you will call me with the ID on those plates. <sighs> How you feeling, right? Better, but I don't understand. Who were those men? So you didn't recognize them, huh? No, I've never seen them before in my life. Diplomatic plates or not, I still think you're wrong. I think this has everything to do with volleyball. 
What are you talking about? You mean gambling? Well, think about it, Mick. Tina's a star player. She's favored to win, and there's been a lot of heavy betting going on this tournament. Well, it's worth checking out, I guess. What, you think there's another motive? Look, I just got this weird gut feeling that this has something to do with her dad. The guy's been dead for years. Yeah, I know. Maybe one of his cases is still alive. Oh, that hot shower felt so good. Oh, I bet. Uh, is this where I'm sleeping? Actually, no, you're sleeping in my room. Hey, that's a good idea. Oh. It is? Yeah. And you can sleep here. <laughs> well, either way, you just call my name and I'll be there in a flash. So will I. You know, I'm really glad you two are here. I don't know what I would have done without you. Believe me, it's been my pleasure. Mine too. <laughs> Okay, let's break it up. Hmm. <laughs> well, uh, good night, Tina. Good night. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be setting my alarm for five o'clock. Is that okay with you guys? Five's yeah, fine. five's yeah. fine. No, don't stop, don't stop. It's good. Oh, shut up. It's good. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how was the game? Oh, good. Good. It was a total wipeout. 15 to 3. Tina and her partner smoked them, man. She must have got like 20 kills. <laughs> <sighs> well, I talked to my three bookie contacts. I was right about the gambling angle, wasn't I? Not quite. I mean, there was a lot of money riding on the game, but almost all of it's riding on Tina and her partner to win. It's no motive for kidnapping. No. Well, then who's after me? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, right there. OK, all right, thanks a lot. That was Sheila. Play toward diplomatic. We were canceled over a year ago when the embassy reported them stolen. Which embassy? Mexican embassy. You ever been to Mexico? Sure, we had a tournament there just a couple weeks ago. Really? Anything out of the ordinary happen? No, I don't know. Wait a minute, there was something. There was this strange man. I didn't give him much thought at the time, but he was watching me play. Did you talk to him? No, after the match, I looked over and he was gone. So did you ever see this, uh, this guy again? No. But a couple of days later, this creepy little guy with lots of tattoos delivered a package to my hotel room. He said it was from a friend. And the funny thing was, he delivered it on my birthday. What was in it? A ring. A beautiful ring. Is that all? No, there was also a note. It said, on your birthday, for you to keep always. Was the note signed? No. I'm always receiving gifts and marriage proposals from fans, but nothing like this. Whoa. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? And expensive. That's an awful lot of rocks on there. I know this ring. What? I've held this ring. It was your mother's. 
I remember your dad and I went down to the hospital to collect your things. That was with her belongings. I'll never forget it. Could this possibly mean that my dad's still alive? Set up my dad's death. It never really happened. Well, you know, that's one possibility. The John was a top secret mole. I mean, this whole thing could be a ruse. Maybe somebody just wants us to think he's alive. I don't know what to think. But why would they come after me? We don't even know who they are. Hey, Mick, if that was my dad at the tournament in Mexico, maybe he was trying to contact me. Maybe. Maybe he needed help. What was that? That was the alarm down in the shop. The thing goes off all the time. It's nothing to worry about. I'll go check it out. Stay sharp. Yeah. It's fine. that stuff I don't know I just can't figure out why they took her unless they're after her father and they're using Tina's bait if that's the case we got to find John Chapman before they do wait a second Mick wait a second everybody thinks the guy's dead how are we gonna find him Tina said a sleazy guy with tattoos delivered that ring now that sounds like a guy John and I used to hang with a guy named Jake Arbuckle he owns a cantina in a little fishing village outside Acapulco Any news? Yeah, she's uh, she's playing a tournament in San Diego. Book me on the first flight out. I don't think that's such a good idea. Jake, it's my daughter, okay? I don't care if it's a trap. I'm not just gonna sit here. John, wait! Tina is missing. What? That bastard's already got her. Maybe not. Listen, she might have gotten away. She could be in hiding right now. No, no! I'm using every one of my contacts to find out where she is. I know where she is. Scorpion, you can't do this alone. You're wrong, Jake! I can do this alone. I've had a lot of practice. Can I help you? Yeah, we're looking for Jake Arbuckle. Is he around? It depends. On what? Who wants to know? We do. Mick! Mick Barry. Hey. Hey, you look great. I can't believe it's really you. Hey, Jake, this is my brother, Joey. Welcome. Why don't you guys have a seat? The drinks are on me. No, no, we're not drinking, Jake. Just one tequila. For the good old days. Hey, it's free. Ah, uh, Mick, actually, I'm... Where is he? Where's who? Where's who? Where's John? John? Come on, Jake, don't play dumb with me. His daughter's been kidnapped. with me. I'm sorry, Mick, but I didn't know what to do. I've never seen him like this before. John? 
Ven. Man. I never thought I'd see you again. Same here. How you doing? I've been better. You gotta be Joey. What are you guys doing in Mexico? Are these guys after you? What? Tina was staying with us when they grabbed her. We're here to help. You guys aren't doing anything. I got Tina into this. It's my responsibility, and I'm gonna get her out. I owe you one, remember? Yeah, we're here. You might as well use us. Look, I appreciate that, but I don't want your help. I can do this on my own. John, listen to me. These guys already have the upper hand. You can't do this by yourself. I can if I make a deal with Sanchez. If he releases Tina, I turn myself over. Fair trade. Sanchez. That's suicide. Oh, you forget, Meg. I'm already dead. to me I need you to spring a trap on Scorpion I don't even know what you're talking about I'm talking about John Chapman your father my father's dead we both know that's not true and as soon as he finds out that we have his beautiful daughter he'll try to rescue you well what if he doesn't come you better pray that he does so, I hear you gave the eulogy at my funeral. I hope you said a few nice things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Of course, I felt guilty telling all those lies, but it's bad form to be critical of the deceased. Why? I had no choice. I mean, my enemies were closing in. The CIA told me the only way to keep me alive was to kill me. Believe me, if I had it to do over again, I'd up for the real thing. How can you say that? What have I got to live for, Mick? I mean, the only thing I care about in this world is my daughter. If I even go near Tina, I put her life in danger, man. You know how that tears me up inside? I have no idea what that must feel like. You know me, man. Always in complete control, right? My emotions never get to me. After 10 years, I just had to see her, man. I mean, I just had to see her once. So you think going to the tournament, that's yeah. what blew your cover? And Senator Gale's ring. I mean, how could I be so stupid? She's your child. Come on, man, she could die now because of me. So, Godfather, how often you see my little girl? Every chance I can get. Because it's been hard the last couple of years. She's been on the road so much. You, uh, be there for, like, uh, birthdays, holidays, things like that? Yeah. This is your graduation? You would have been real proud, John. She's, uh, she's grown into an amazing young lady. <sighs> See there, Mick? <laughs> you know Tina better than I do. I mean, she's my own daughter. But I don't even know her. I probably never will. She talks about you every time we're together. But it means so much to her just to know you're alive. Let me tell you something, man. I learned a real hard lesson in the last 10 years. 
It doesn't make it any easier when you know the other person's alive. It just makes it worse. Because you can't see him. <laughs> you know, I think in the long run, Dina would be better off if I was really dead. Don't you think she should have some say in that? Look, man, all I want is the best for her, okay? I just want her to be safe. Yeah, but giving yourself up to Sanchez won't guarantee your safety. He can't let her live. She knows too much. Man, I just want to kick down his freaking door and rip his throat out. do that! That's exactly what he wants you to do. That's what he's expected. So maybe Joey and I can help you do the unexpected. It's just arrived. No deals. We're getting Tina out of there. Blueprints in Sanchez's place. Whoa, where'd you get this stuff? I want to give us a uh, pretty good idea of the security system. Wow, it's thorough. You think we'll be able to get in? Well, even though there's only three of us, I got a few things that ought to give us an edge. Whoa. Some souvenirs from my CIA days. It's quite an arsenal. Check. Actually, it's just some experimental weaponry that the uh, government gave me on special assignment. Check this out. Miniature laser for sighting, launching devices for gas pellets, taser darts. James Bond lives, huh? Yeah, in a rundown cantina in Mexico. And he's ready to pay Senor Sanchez a little visit. Man on alert? Nothing to worry about, mijo. Relax. The compound is secure. There's no way that guy's gonna get inside this mansion without being detected. Let me tell you something, my man. Don't underestimate Scorpion. He's very clever and very deadly. He may have an acid sting, okay? But he's only one man, chico. Trust me. I take care of him. Feet to the left. You ready? Let's hit him. He's in. Okay, right on schedule. Let's move. How you feeling? Won't be long now. Your father's gonna come, have a nice family reunion with you, get together, you know? 
Let me see what happened over here. Why are you signed with me? Me, there was no way to go get into the company. Not alone, mijo. Somehow they managed to breach a line of security. Listen to that, brother. Listen. No more follow-ups. I want Scorpion dead. Okay, but it's not gonna be easy. No, no, no. Kill him and his friends. Now.
Tide. We'll be right back. Celebration for victory lunch. <laughs> Next on High Tide. Nick, will you help me? You want me to look up an old boyfriend to help you with your wife? Excellent. The man you saw in the photos may be Alicio De La Rocha. He's head of Porta San Sebastian's biggest drug cartel. You leave Maddie out of this. What do you care about her? While you're riding in here, she's sleeping with Mick Barrett. 